Some dinosaurs torment our imagination not merely by enormity, but by the eerie secrets they drag with them. From the quick-footed Velociraptor, a lethal hunter with slashing talons, to the armored Ankylosaurus, a walking tank with a tail built to crush bone, these aren't just any ordinary fossils. They're haunting enigmas from a prehistoric world we barely understand. Join us as we're going to look at the creepiest dinosaurs that science still can't fully explain, starting with Number 15, Giganotosaurus Science is still scratching its head over this fast, hulking beast that dominated ancient Argentina. Giganotosaurus was evolution at its most ruthless. It lived 98 million years ago, and this bad boy made T-Rex look like a slow brute. This thing clocked in at eight tons with a skull nearly six feet long, stuffed with knife-like teeth built for ripping, not crushing flesh. It didn't need brute strength to kill. It sliced, moved, and struck with terrifying precision. But here's the riddle. How did a creature the size of a bus manage not to collapse while moving at top speed? Scientists point to its thick, muscular tail for balance, but even that doesn't fully explain it. Evolution somehow created a monster that shouldn't be that fast, but was. Its agility remains unexplained. Giganotosaurus didn't just kill, it hunted with freakish coordination and balance. We know the bones, but not the full blueprint. That's what makes this prehistoric beast so disturbing and unforgettable. Number 14. Majungasaurus. Majungasaurus ruled Madagascar's ancient forests nearly 70 million years ago. This thick-set predator was about 26 feet long and weighed over a ton. And let's say it wasn't just a threat. It was something far stranger. Its skull was big and oddly asymmetrical, with a bizarre swelling on one side. Scientists believe it may have used its head as a battering ram, smashing into rivals to fight or assert dominance. While its short, thick arms seemed useless, that massive skull delivered devastating bite force designed for ripping flesh. Majungasaurus wasn't just a hunter, it scavenged too, feeding on anything it could overpower or steal. Surviving on an isolated island shaped it into a ruthless apex predator. What makes Majungasaurus truly eerie is its lopsided skull, which breaks all expectations of dinosaur anatomy and hints at brutal encounters we still don't fully understand. Was this predator just a head-bashing brute or something far weirder? Well, its bones suggest war, isolation, and something uniquely unsettling. Number 13. Carcharodontosaurus. Roughly 100 million years ago, this terrifying guy once roamed North Africa with its sheer size and fierce strength. It is called Carcharodontosaurus, or the shark-toothed lizard. It stretched up to 40 feet long, weighed close to 8 tons, and carried a jaw full of 6-inch serrated blades. These weren't just teeth. They were meat-shredding steak knives designed for maximum gore. Despite its size, this creature could hit 34 miles per hour, fast enough to chase down prey that made buildings look small. But here's the unsettling part. No one's sure how it took down such massive targets. Did it ambush alone, or were there others? Some think it hunted in groups, like prehistoric assassins carving giants apart. And even with everything we've found, skulls, bones, teeth, we still don't really know how it ruled. Each fossil brings more questions than answers. Carcharodontosaurus wasn't just a top predator. It was a savage mystery wrapped in ancient flesh, and every time its name shows up in rock, science steps back and shivers a little. Number 12. Maposaurus. This earth lizard ruled South America's late Cretaceous terrain. While exact size estimates vary, Maposaurus was no small predator. It weighed multiple tons and left huge footprints. But what truly makes it terrifying wasn't just its bulk, it's how it hunted. Unlike most solitary giants, it is one of the rare carnivores believed to hunt in packs, a horrifying strategy that amplified its deadliness. How they coordinated remains a mystery, but the results speak loudly. Its jaws could crush through bone, shredding flesh with razor accuracy. 
Capable of bursts up to 34 miles per hour, it moved faster than many modern predators. Its body featured subtle spines along the torso, with a long, narrow tail designed to stabilize rapid attacks. But it had a darker flaw. When starved, it turned unpredictable, lashing out at handlers or anything nearby. Taming one was a risk few survive. Feed it regularly or risk being eaten. Maposaurus wasn't a pet. It was a gamble with teeth. Number 11. Velociraptor. This may have been the size of a turkey, but don't let that fool you. This was a cold-blooded assassin. Nearly seven feet from snout to tail, but only standing two feet tall, its light build masked a lethal design. Each foot housed a retractable claw just under three inches, shaped like a sickle and sharp enough to gut prey with one clean strike. It wasn't just about claws. Its serrated teeth acted like built-in steak knives, slicing through meat with terrifying ease. Evidence suggests they hunted in coordinated packs, which is still wild considering their small size. That level of strategy hints at a brain far deadlier than expected. Found fossilized mid-attack in Mongolia's Gobi Desert, one raptor was literally locked in combat, jaws clamped on another dinosaur. That brutal efficiency still sends chills down spines. But here's the catch. Scientists still don't know just how far these little nightmares push their savagery. What else is hiding beneath those ancient sands? Number 10. Kianzusaurus. Kianzusaurus, nicknamed Pinocchio Rex, lingers at the edges of dinosaur history with its eerie, elongated snout that jutted forward like a twisted spear. At around 20 feet in length, it wasn't built for power but for agility and stealth. Unlike its heavyweight cousin, the bone-crushing Tyrannosaurus Rex, this predator was refined for precision. It hunted smaller, faster prey with unnerving accuracy. Living about 66 million years ago in what is now southern China, Kianzusaurus belonged to the Tyrannosaur family but defied the mold. Too slender, too sharp, too fast. Its narrow skull and lightweight frame allowed it to dart through forested terrain, possibly striking from cover. Some scientists believe it used its long snout to reach into tight spaces, turning its odd face into a surgical hunting tool. What makes this dinosaur disturbing isn't just its shape, it's how evolution crafted something so fragile looking into a lethal predator. A ghostly relative of T-Rex with a hunter's precision. All right now, let's move to number nine, Carnotaurus. This late Cretaceous horror haunted what's now Argentina, stretching over 34 feet. Let's say it was a fearsome blend of muscle, speed, and bizarre anatomy. Its head was short and built for impact, with two sharp horns rising above small, piercing eyes. Its body wasn't just streamlined, it was armored in jagged, thorn-like scales. The arms were practically useless. These were much smaller than a T-Rex's, reduced to stiff, immobile nubs. But its neck and shoulders were all power, dense, compact, and made for driving headfirst into battle. The face, tightly wrapped in rough skin, had nowhere to hide its teeth. One fossil hints at something darker. During Mount Sibo's eruption, a Carnotaurus entered a frenzy, attempting to hunt humans. It even launched a failed attack on a Sonoceratops nearly its own size and came back for more. Relentless, violent, and strange, Carnotaurus wasn't just a predator. It was a fast, spiked brute with behavior no one can fully explain or understand. Its legacy remains savage and unsettling. Number 8. Allosaurus About 150 million years ago, this monstrous predator straight out of ancient nightmares prowled North America, and it's called the menacing Allosaurus. Towering nearly 16 feet tall and stretching close to 39 feet long, it hunted with terrifying speed, charging prey at 21 miles per hour. Its broad skull was packed with serrated teeth, each one meant to tear through flesh like razors through hide. But its most disturbing trait? The horn-like ridges above its eyes, their purpose still unknown. Did they warn enemies, 
attract mates, or serve a more ominous function? Fossils paint a violent picture. Crushed ribs, shattered bones, punctured skulls, evidence of brutal clashes within its own kind. Cannibalism was common, leaving deep scars etched into ancient bone. And Allosaurus didn't stop there. Fossils from Colorado reveal vicious fights with armored stegosaurs, their bones marked by savage strikes. Scientists still struggle to understand this killer. Was it a lone hunter or part of a pack? Whatever the truth, it was born for violence. Number 7. Utah Raptor This ancient terror named the Utah Thief roamed North America during the early Cretaceous, leaving behind mysteries science still can't unravel. Measuring 24 feet long and weighing more than 1,500 pounds, this 8 feet tall monstrous raptor dwarfed its infamous cousins, Velociraptor and Deinonychus. Its sheer mass allowed it to hunt prey much larger than itself, including young sauropods, casting dread across ancient landscapes. But size wasn't the only thing that made it terrifying. Utah raptors hunted in tightly coordinated packs, striking with chilling precision. Their sharp vision let them to detect prey long before being seen, turning ambushes into calculated slaughter. Rows of razor teeth stayed sharp, ready to rip open victims without hesitation. Massive clawed hands delivered crushing force. But the real horror lay in their sickle-shaped toe claws, retractable, razor sharp, and lethal. Groups of three to twelve stalked together, blending into the night like silent killers. Their ruthless efficiency remains a haunting prehistoric mystery. Number 6. Ankylosaurus Ankylosaurus was no ordinary plant eater, it was a living tank. Growing up to 33 feet in length and weighing nearly 15,000 pounds, this herbivore moved like a slow-moving fortress. Its entire body was layered in thick, bony armor, harder than medieval chainmail, crafted to deflect teeth and claws with ease. But its most intimidating feature lay at the end of its tail, a bone-shattering club. This wasn't for show. A single swing could break bones or crush skulls. Predators mistook Ankylosaurus as slow and harmless, but one hit proved them wrong. This wasn't just defense, it was a warning. Come closer, and you'd leave in pieces. Its armor wasn't decoration, it was survival. Ankylosaurus endured until the very last days of the Cretaceous, outlasting even the fiercest hunters. And one chilling question lingers. How did such a slow, grounded beast thrive in a world of speed and claws? Sometimes brute strength wrapped in armor wins everything. Number 5. Deinonychus Deinonychus earned the title Terrible Claw for a reason. This predator roamed North America's forests and plains during the early Cretaceous. Roughly 11 feet long and up to 220 pounds, its most lethal weapon was a sickle-shaped claw on each foot, capable of slashing through skin, muscle, and bone. Standing nearly three feet at the hip, Deinonychus was engineered for speed. Hitting up to 40 miles per hour, it turned prehistoric terrain into a hunting ground. It didn't just strike, it launched with lightning-fast agility. When hunting in packs, their combined force overwhelmed prey with brutal precision. Claws cut, teeth tore. This was not brute force. This was coordinated, high-speed violence. Its curved neck and sharp teeth made tearing prey mid-chase effortless. And it wasn't just enemies. Deinonychus clashed with its own kind, fighting over mates and territory with claw strikes and bone-crushing bites. When cornered, those claws weren't just tools. They became death weapons. It didn't chase. It hunted like a ghost. Number 4. Gorgosaurus Gorgosaurus, the fierce lizard, roamed North America's Cretaceous forests roughly 76 million years ago. While not as iconic as T. rex, it was no less terrifying. Measuring up to 30 feet and weighing 3 tons, this predator came armed with razor-sharp teeth made for slicing clean through flesh. But its mystery lies not in its teeth, it's in its behavior. 
Gorgosaurus's hunting methods are still debated. Some fossils hint at group behavior, others suggest it hunted solo. Scientists still can't say for sure. Stranger still are the traces of disease and injury found in its remains. Bite marks, infected bones, and healed fractures that tell violent stories of survival and attack, possibly even within the species. It wasn't just dangerous, it was dangerous to its own kind. Gorgosaurus didn't just live through conflict, it wore it. Every scar was earned. And while the bones remain, the full story doesn't. It left behind pieces of violence we'll never fully grasp. Number 3. Balor Bondok Balor Bondok prowled prehistoric Romania nearly 70 million years ago, a raptor that shattered expectations. Only about 5 feet tall, squat, and built like a tank, it was more bulldozer than speedster. But don't let its stocky size fool you. Each foot carried not one, but two razor-edged sickle claws. Unlike its swift, agile relatives, Balar was something different, a heavily muscled ambush hunter, built for close combat, not long chases. With thick bones, powerful legs, and short but brutal arms, it lurked in thick forests, waiting for a perfect moment to strike. Paleontologists still can't figure out why it evolved this way, sacrificing speed for strength, finesse for raw power. Some think its island habitat forced it to adapt, turning it into a compact executioner. Its dual sickle claws weren't for running, they were for mauling. Balar Bondok wasn't just a raptor, it was an anomaly a strange, stocky killer shaped by isolation and survival. Number 2. Suchomimus A shadow that moved between land and water, Suchomimus was neither a full land predator nor a complete swimmer, but something menacing in between. Measuring up to 36 feet long and weighing around 5 tons, this dinosaur had a crocodilian snout lined with sharp, conical teeth meant to pierce through slippery prey. Its name, meaning crocodile mimic, fits perfectly. Along the swampy banks of what is now Niger, Africa, about 125 million years ago, Suchomimus stalked the edge of two worlds. It hunted fish and smaller animals with its long jaws and powerful forelimbs, each armed with massive hooked claws. It didn't sprint, it didn't charge, it waited and struck. It thrived in the eerie overlap between two habitats. Not quite a land hunter, not quite an aquatic predator. Paleontologists still struggle to understand how this dinosaur functioned so well in both realms. Suchomimus is a reminder that not all predators roared. Some just slipped between shadows, silent, sharp, and absolutely terrifying. Number 1. Tyrannosaurus Rex This undisputed and unsettling king of the dinosaur age remains an evolutionary puzzle that still baffles science. Stomping across prehistoric North America around 66 to 72 million years ago, T. rex wasn't just massive. It ruled with brutal dominance until an asteroid wiped it out along with its kin. Armed with gigantic jaws and teeth longer than a ruler, T. rex was destruction incarnate. Its bite force could pulverize bones and crush heavily armored prey with zero resistance. It spotted targets from nearly four miles out, long before victims even sensed danger. Once locked in, escape was off the table. But this is where the facts fade into confusion. Paleontologists still can't explain the sudden leap in evolution that gave it its frightening skills. Its freakish speed, freakish agility, and killer instincts appeared too quickly to make sense. Even now, researchers are digging for answers. Though extinct, the terrifying legacy of T-Rex lives on. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for hanging with us, and we'll see you soon.